you asked for it, and here's a recap of what happened with the bank. Be prepared, I'm going to talk really fast. Craig started working there in 2016. He immediately started telling everybody about this patent for a 2FA to a VPN he owned. Then he conveniently sold this patent, and he started building four fourplexes on this land he inherited in Tupelo, Mississippi, from his Confederate ancestor who got it in a Civil War land grant. He was doing so well, he invested in his friend's Mexican restaurant. He also opened a trust which was pulling 20k a month. He then attempted to solicit investments from coworkers for round two of the Mexican restaurant. For $10,000, they could buy in on it too and enjoy all the same profits and dividends he has been enjoying from the first restaurant. His finances got very complex very quickly. So he hired a CPA named Chad in Tuplo and bought an $18,000 copy of NetSuite. Then there was an incident that called his management experience into question. In an attempt to find anything to verify his management experience, we found out everything he ever said was BS. He's got no business licenses in Mississippi. He's not listed on any patents, and especially not any patents for a 2FA added to a VPN. The land he pointed out on the map several times still hasn't updated to reflect his apartment buildings, even in 2021, when it was supposedly done in 2018. Furthermore, he claimed the highway was extended to meet his apartments and make them more accessible. The county told me that never happened. There are no CPAs named Chad in Tupelo. Also, Civil War soldiers did not get land grants in Mississippi. They got land bounties in places like Iowa and Tennessee. But on a hilarious side note, his Confederate ancestor, which I did trace down, was buried in a town named after my husband's ancestors. Anyone seen the movie Holes? Because it's making me feel like that. There was a curse he could have broken. He chose not to. Where were we? Right. There's also no non-subscription product offered by NetSuite. And weirdly enough, there are no registered CPAs in the entire state of Mississippi named Chad. He was confronted. And when confronted with everything, he asked, who else knows and who have you told? He also refused to show proof. I don't owe anyone proof. Anyway, an ethics report was made because, obviously, because when you have a manager who is literally laying the groundwork for the long con, seriously, his behavior is very much like many no, well-known con artists. They tell these elaborate stories for years and years and years. And guess what? No one ever suspects them. Anyway, it was reported, and they basically didn't care and did nothing. So I waited just shy of a year before I made this whole playlist and outed him to the entire community. Which I will say, I feel bad about his wife and his kids. I have nothing against them. He's probably groomed and conditioned them just as much as he did everyone else, if not more. But I sent Wells Fargo a very lengthy and extensive letter recently. And apparently it's been escalated twice now. But yeah, they didn't think it was a big deal and he still works there. These weren't little white lies. These were planned, calculated, and deliberate. And yet Wells Fargo thinks that, yeah, that, that's, that's who we want as a manager. That's who we think should have access to your sensitive financial information and data. Cool story, bro.